Last time on One on One. So, great party the other night. People are still talking about it. So where's your girl Natasha? Where's your boy Lewis? I miss you. I miss you too. Oh, no, no, no. You should stop. You get married. Maybe I owe it to myself just to be sure. Do you really want to know what happened with Natasha in your bedroom? Nothing. She broke up with me and hasn't spoken to me since. Oh, Flex, you swore you would be here. Tanya, sorry I'm late. You up? She made filet mignon. to cook me. What were you thinking? Well, I fell asleep, and when I woke up, I saw this big menacing silhouette, and I have seen too many movies where a cute girl like me living alone ends up being a cute dead girl dying alone, so naturally I... Ah. Oh, baby, I am so sorry, but where were you? I was waiting up for you all night. I was doing father stuff with Brianna and the kids. Oh, you're such a good daddy. You know what? How about I make it up to you with something tall and icy? What, you got my ex-wife in the closet? <laughs> no, skip and get naked. Can I just get naked? <laughs> no, baby, it's a combination of herbs designed to give you more bounce in your bounce. <laughs> bounce me and I'll bounce you back. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Should we be doing this? I mean, you're engaged, and if I were your fiance, I'd kill me. You're right. It would just be wrong. Yeah, and we'd never be able to live with ourselves. What are you doing? <laughs> well, you've been living with yourself this long. One more night won't hurt. Oh, uh, you're going to play around. <laughs> Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner when I can't turn no one else. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be back and thinking then What a true love we are born Can't nobody break this bond Living one on one Now we have a friend One on one Tanya, you see my keys? I gotta go but it's early, and Mama is making breakfast. Uh, baby, I would love to stay, but I've been here all weekend. I've got a child to look after. Brianna is fine. She's at the little gypsy girl's house. <laughs> Where are my keys? But I was going to make my world-famous French toast and serve it on my stomach, and you were going to be in charge of pouring the syrup. <laughs> baby, we have gone through three bottles this weekend, OK? I really have to go, OK? Keys, OK. Key. Well, why don't you retrace your steps? And while you're doing that, I'll be Frenching my toast. Make it united and it feels so good. Lord, help me. She's feeling me too much. Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> Gotta go. No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Don't go yet! I wanna spend one more day with you, baby, please. Uh, okay, how about, uh, I, I go to work, uh, spend some time with Brianna, and then I'll come back later to, uh, uh tuck you in. Okay, what time, what should I wear? Uh, seven and nothing. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Really? Surrounded by a bunch of hoochies with his braids and his gyro attitude. <laughs> oh, he looks so good. <laughs> so is our little Brianna finally admitting she has feelings for Arnest? <laughs> Did you hear, McKinley? Brianna loves our beautiful school. <laughs> That's what she was trying to say. Go, Possum! <laughs> Like that. Because I'm tired of all the interest.
trick. It's time you let him know how you really feel. But I've always treated him like a smelly, blonde-headed stepchild. How can I tell him I like him now? All I know is the main moonlight dance is Friday night, and if you don't ask him, I'll ask him for you. Okay. <laughs> Dang, girl, eat on the braids. I left my emergency glue at home. <laughs> All right, I'll ask him. But wait, I don't know. <laughs> Arnaz, baby, your coat looks a little low on ice. How about I hook you up? Now, remember, Ginger, I like the round cubes, not the half moons. <laughs> so? <laughs> so, are you taking Ice Cube Girl to the main moonlight dance? I haven't decided. I might have somebody else in mind. Really? So you going with Lewis? Uh, I haven't decided. I might have someone else in mind, too. Really? Like it. Excuse. I'm sorry, baby. They didn't have any round cubes, but I could lick the edges off the square ones. Oh, you do that for me? Mm -hmm. All right, here you go, baby. Take care of that. <laughs> oh, please. So, where were we? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, who's taking you to the dance? Uh, well, um. <laughs> Let's just say, if you're a fan of Little Bow Wow, you might want to get there early. <laughs> Who died? <laughs> Apparently, your bachelorhood. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite one. Squeeze its belly. Flex, it's Tanya and loving you. <laughs> Well, Daddy, I guess it's safe to assume that you weren't really at a Scrabble marathon last weekend, were you? Man, that Tanya is sprung. I love you. Oh, my God. She shrunk in her head for me. How did I get here, man? I ran into her at a club. We realized we missed each other, got together for one weekend. But I didn't expect any of this. Come on, man. You knew she was weak for you, and you went over there anyways and activated her little love senses. <laughs> you unmade her bed. Now you have to lie there without any covers, my brother. Hey, now, what are you, a woman? Hey, man, I've been Tanya, all right? Dissed, dismissed, and set aside. Left alone in a motel room with nothing but a, a wig, a support bra, and some hugo sticks. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, send her some flowers, tell her I had a good time, but I'm seeing other people. No, Flex, man, what you have to do is you have to tell that what you two did was wrong and that she should walk down the aisle with the man whose ring she's wearing. Then you should say you're sorry and let her get on with her life. Since when did you become so sensitive about women's needs? Man, two days handcuffed to a sleazy motel bed tends to soften you up a bit. <laughs> Why would I propose to a woman who's already engaged? Because I'm not, baby. I broke it off for us. I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> and would somebody please turn that song off? Oh. <laughs> Listen, Tanya, our weekend together was great. More than great. It was life-altering. A moment in time I will never forget. <laughs> Look, Tanya, we can't do this anymore. I'm not ready for the kind of commitment that you want. Remember, that's why you broke it off before. Yeah, but now we're in love. Aren't we, Flex? I mean, I will give up everything. I want to devote my entire life to you. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, Tanya, that's, that's sweet. But uh, your, your life is such a, a, a precious thing, you know, far too precious to, to devote to me. But... Listen, <laughs> I know us parting will sting a little at first, but in time, we'll both go on. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Not before I take care of you, Mr. Flex. Walk out on me, Washington. Oh, glad we finally 
hooked up for lunch. You know, I was starting to think that you didn't like me. Oh, girl, stop thinking and take another bite of that taquito. You do it so nice. <laughs> and to skip and get naked. <laughs> um, we didn't know it of these. That's compliments to your number one fan. Do you have a lot of fans buying you drinks? Uh, yeah, 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 girl, all the time. <laughs> One second. Dr. Tittlehorn? Sorry, wrong number. Would you please stop calling and asking for Tanya? <laughs> Tanya? Loving you. You do because you're beautiful. Hey, 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 man, could, could you stop that? We didn't order that song. No, senor. Your wife did. <laughs> Tanya? What's going on here, Flex? I, I think I'm being stalked. No, you are being left high and not dry. <gasps> wanted to dance with Lil Bow Wow. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Tape his poster to your back and walk him sideways? <laughs> okay, why don't you just go on and ask Arnez? Ask Arnez? Girl, don't you get it? I was the girl of his dreams. The dream me does not turn around and ask the dreamer if he wants to go to the dance. So, dreamy, what are you gonna do? Simple. You're gonna ask the next guy who walks through that door. Oh, girl, it's motor mouth Lewis, don't. <laughs> Uh, Louis, uh, would you like to go to the dance with me? Obviously, you're not keeping up with the latest. I'm going with Evergreen Gibson. She's hot for me because she thought me and you were making out in your father's bedroom at your party. Thank you. <laughs> so, so not only is she sabotaging my dates and finding their phone numbers, she's following me everywhere. My God. There she is now. <laughs> what up now? What is it about me that makes me so irresistible to women, dog? Man, the thing is, she doesn't know the evil flex. The flex that's self-absorbed, self-centered, and selfish. Especially when it comes to money. Speaking of which, can I borrow five dollars? No, but you are on to something, dog. I need to show her that loving me ain't easy, even if I am beautiful. La, 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 la. Come on, man. <laughs> My brother, it's time to fight crazy with crazy. Oh, <laughs> Watch this, all right? Uh, hey, Tanya, I thought it over. I made a mistake. You want to move in with me? My bags are already packed. <laughs> Miss Mary Mac, 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 I'll dress in black, 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 with silver buttons, 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 all down her back. <laughs> yeah, Mama. Hey, Flex, you're already in your pajamas. It's only six o'clock. Hey, now, nah, this is the real me. See me? Love me. <laughs> now, Dwayne's coming over to watch the game, so you need to hook us up some buffalo wings and some beer, you know, because game day ain't game day unless you burp and taste the hot sauce. <laughs> okay. Game day, burp, I got it, I got mm -hmm. it. And, <laughs> you're gonna like this. <laughs> For being my baby, you get to stay in my room all by yourself until the game's over. Yippee! <laughs> you love me, baby. You do. That's right. <laughs> Don't tell Brianna about that. All right. <laughs> mm. Hey, Tanya. Hey. Uh, Flex tells me it's laundry day, so uh, hit that, will you? <laughs> and use a little uh, fabric softener on the boxer shorts. Got a little rash. <laughs> mm. Mm. Might want to hit this, too. Um, do I have to do his laundry? Dwayne has family, uh -huh. and what is rule number 47? Family takes care of family. Yes, they do. <laughs> Dr. Smackdown! Smack it down! <laughs> Man, I think it's working. <laughs> Man, when you came in here through the laundry bag, that was genius. Hey, man, anything for my dog. <laughs> Tanya, come and get this girl. <laughs> Girl, I cannot believe I let you drag 
me here alone. Why didn't you let me dress up your brother to look like little Bow Wow? I don't have a brother. I have a sister with a hormone deficiency. <laughs> oh, here comes our next post. <laughs> hey. Hey. look nice. Um, come on, Arnaz, I'm thirsty. Let's go get something to drink. Are oh, you gonna let him get away like that? Stop him. Yeah! Why don't you go get his drinks like you be licking on his ice cubes? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Girl, why am I talking to her? <laughs> She's fighting for your man. Uh, that's right. Ginger. Did you buy that dress, or did your mama want to air out the curtains? Don't hate me because Arnaz doesn't. Shh. <gasps> this is the lowest moment of my life. <laughs> See, that's why I quit her. <laughs> Dipping to Jordan. like Carrie's back from the prom. <laughs> Rihanna, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. If you don't mind, I'd rather just go to my room and think evil thoughts about boys. <laughs> OK, baby, I don't mean to complain, but when are we going to have some us time? <laughs> uh, oh. Every third Sunday of the month. See, rule 48. You know what, Flex? I am getting sick of all your rules. I never knew you were this impossible to live with, and I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think that we're meant to be together. I'm going home. Excuse me. But No, no baby, please don't go. I, I need you. You need me? Yes. Oh, Flex. I need you to detail my car. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, clean it that Kool-Aid. Good morning, sleepyheads. Tanya, what are you doing here? Well, when I went home last night, I had a lot of time to really think about my decision. I've invested a lot of time in this relationship, and I'm not going to give up that easily. Butter, fresh turn, rule number 49. See, I added my own rule. I am so on board. <laughs> Woman, what does it take to drive you out of our lives? What are you saying, Flex? Ooh, Daddy, you might want to slow your roll because those muffins smell real good. <laughs> All right, Daddy, I'm gone. Bye. Yeah. Listen, I, I can't do this anymore, OK? The game is over. You have to leave. Me letting you move in here was part of a bigger plan to make you hate it here. Oh, I don't believe you. Yes, oh, yes. I'm a bad man. <laughs> I mean, don't you hate me? Don't you want to throw a brick through my window, hobble me? Uh, torch my cocky duty little car like a normal woman? No! No, that's crazy! I love you! Oh, stop saying that, huh? <laughs> you love me too much. I hate you, Flex Washington! Okay, now do you love me? <laughs> Not the way you want me to. I'm sorry. Do you really mean that? Well, I guess there's nothing left to say. Goodbye, Flex. Uh, Tanya, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I just... Whatever, I... Flex. Lord, I hope she's going to be all right. And thank you for this food, which I'm about to receive. <laughs> Crazy women sure can cook. <laughs> Is that my car? Hang on your neck, Flex Washington! Tanya, you're gonna be all right. <laughs> and that's not my car. <laughs> okay, girl.
Here's the phone. Call Arnez. My name is Arnez, and I am not home. So please leave a message after the tone. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, Arnez, uh, Brianna's ready to spill our guts, so be at her house tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Hey, <laughs> Man, I look good in camel. <laughs> of course, I look good in any animal. <laughs> yeah, camel's a pretty color. My girl says he loves camel. <laughs> Man, she's a lot like a camel. She can hold water for days. <laughs> uh, dog, if your girl hadn't called you, has changed her phone number and her address, she might not be your girl. Lana is wearing a fierce mohair jacket with a pair of to-die-for Gucci shades. Can you say... Bling, bling. <laughs> bling and bling. <laughs> no and no. <laughs> all right, all right. Forget everything else. I just have to have this purse. This is the Prada everybody has. Ooh, man. Why buy Prada when you can go down to the bus station and get Frauda? <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, 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 uh, I was... <laughs> Randy, do you think my parents bought me an expensive purse like that when I was your age? I hope not. <laughs> You know why they did? Because I had to learn a little something called discipline. That's right. See, I took a part-time job, worked really hard, and then after saving my pennies, I was able to buy nice things. But, Daddy, that'll take forever. This purse is on sale now. Brianna, <laughs> if you use your head and be resourceful, one day you'll be easing on down the road to financial freedom. Now, you see that Dior shirt over there? I'm going to buy two of them. You know why? Because I'm free. <laughs> Money makes you mean. Oh, girl, move out the way your dad dropped a nickel. <laughs> hey, hold up. You might have to start calling me Dorothy because it looks like I'm about to ease on down the road to financial freedom. <laughs> Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Check one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody. Halloween. It's a night where you could just get wild and mm -hmm. howl at the moon. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, we can get wild up in here. We can play chambermaid and lord of the manor. Mm. Well, now that I look at those legs, you would look kind of cute in an apron and a feather duster. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry I broke the vase. Please don't spank me, my lord. <laughs> well, I don't have time to discipline you, but... Go get your jacket, Fifi. Ooh, if you was gonna get physical, we should go as uh, uh, I can Tina. <laughs> oh, hi, Miss Clark. Hey, Brianna. Listen, your father and I are going to a Halloween party tomorrow night. Oh, you guys are going out tomorrow night. That's huge. I'm so happy for you. Okay. I didn't know you were so big on Halloween. No, it's your 30-day anniversary. Usually for daddy, that's doomsday, not date day. <laughs> What are you talking about? Well, all I'm saying is, usually on day 30, he calls with some lame story, like he has to enter the witness protection program. Ooh, on my personal favorite, he's framed for a crime he did not commit. Don't wait for me, baby. You gotta be free for the both of us. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was working too hard for something. I mean, shedding a tear when we were watching Billy Elliot talking about all the child wants to do is dance. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Brianna. No, no, it wasn't a warning. It was just a... Uh, I gotta go. I, I got. I got stuff. <laughs> Bye, daddy. Bye, daddy. All right, let's go get those costumes. Change of plans. Let's go as ourselves. You could be the thirty-day man, and I'll be history. Bye, bye. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just left the room for two minutes. What changed? Brianna. <laughs> Is it true that you don't date anyone for more than 30 days? Well... Yes or no, Flex? Technically, yes, because, you know, February is the shortest month of the year. You know, I... You know. I'm out of here. I'm saying... Natalie, come on. 
I used to be like that, but this time with us, things are gonna be different. How so? I don't know, it just is. Look, Flex, I don't have time to play games. If you can't be in a real relationship, then we should just end this right now. Oh, so some other brother can get the jewel that I dropped? I think not. <laughs> You're lucky I like corny. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Spirit, is it me or is Arnest's girlfriend's butt getting bigger? You know what? We should dress up as it for Halloween. I got dibs on the right cheek. <laughs> Ooh, because I don't even know what he's seeing there, girl. Lord knows he can't see past her. Ooh, wait, I'm losing you. I must be going through a tunnel. Oh. <laughs> Here, ma'am. Oh, my credit card finally came. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> girl, I think I'm gonna cry. Come on, girl, let's shop till we drop, and if anything's on the floor, we gonna buy that, too. <laughs> Wayne, come on, dog. Give up on Stacy. She gone. But, Flex, did you ever see that movie Not Without My Daughter? Well, not without my Stacy. I must find her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Um, um, hey. What's up? Um, um, hey, what's up with you? Nothing. What you just put in your pocket? Nothing. Brianna, show me what you put in your pocket. Daddy, I told you, I didn't put nothing, see? All right, my bad. Mm -hmm. But I'm watching you. How you do that? Girl, I got a hole in my pocket. <laughs> that means we gotta buy some new pants, too. <laughs> Holla, Dallas! <laughs> Going down there to get you that purse. Well, that's all I really wanted until I saw the shoes that matched. And if you buy the shoes, you gotta buy the belt. <laughs> okay, the belt I understand. Did you have to buy the Gucci scuba gear? I mean, what you gonna do with that? I don't know. I can't swim, but I'm sure gonna look good drowning though. <laughs> uh oh, here, Ahmad. Thanks for the ride, and you put a little something, something in for yourself. No cash? Uh, no, it's credit. It's like cash, but better. In taxi business, cash always better. I'll be right back. Oh, man, it's like Christmas up in here. Except it's Halloween. I can't wait to put on my costume. I appreciate all the gifts, but how you gonna pay for all this? <laughs> well, not that I plan on giving anything back. <laughs> you guys, I got this whole credit card thing figured out. All I have to do is intercept the bill each month and pay the minimum balance. It's the American way. <laughs> Now y'all gonna have to help me hide some of this stuff from my daddy, cause it's the Brianna way. Kids, kids, spoiled American children. <laughs> okay, fine. A little something, something for Ahmad. <laughs> elf costume you got on. Man, I'm Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. <laughs> Have you ever seen an elf with a bow and arrow? Uh, yeah, tonight. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna let you dog out my mood because all my efforts to find Stacy have finally paid off. Look, she wrote me a postcard. Why are you so happy? Man, can't you read? It says she's loving me forever. <laughs> Doug, it says she's leaving you forever. <laughs> well, man, that doesn't make any sense. Look, see, look, it says try to find me. <laughs> Move your thumb. Oh, don't try to find me. <laughs> oh, man. I'm hurting, dog. I should just throw myself in one of my arrows, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, man. We got a party to go to, and nobody likes a suicidal elf. <laughs> Ooh, holy maid Marion. What's that? Oh, this is my 30-day uh, anniversary gift for Natalie. 30 days is the aluminum anniversary. Man, women like gifts that come with a receipt, something they can return. Hey, man, come on. Natalie's not like that. Natalie's special. And she's an artist. She loves this kind of junk. It's creative, it's cute. Oh, good Lord, and it might kill her. Uh -huh. Let's hit them all. Yeah, girl, I got three of them. You can never have too many. Hey, hey, Daddy, what you doing home? Are those crocodile boots? Is that a parrot on your shoulder? <laughs> I guess, saucy little one. Where'd you get the boots? Oh, 
Oh, no, these aren't real. I brought them from Spirit. They're part of my Halloween costume. I'm a supermodel, so I can't be seen with a pirate and an elf. I'm Robin Hood, Halle Barely. <laughs> oh. Yo, D, uh, could you get my wallet? I left on the shelf by the door. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll be paying by charge. Excuse me while I fetch my Prada. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I can't find my card. Okay, which one of you guys took my credit card? Nobody took your card. Yeah, we haven't seen it since. Akamai. <laughs> I don't think I like it on the elf, but I like it for my baby. If the pixie is done playing dress up, I'll wrap it for you. <laughs> hey, man, do you think if I bought Stacy some jewelry, she'd still be around? Oh, I think if you hadn't introduced her to your mechanic, Evan, she might still be around. When he said your girl needs a tune up, I thought he was talking about the car, not Stacy. I'm sorry, sir. There's a problem with your card, and unfortunately, we don't accept doubloons. <laughs> Very funny. Just run it through again. It's probably been. You know, I have been having a good year. <laughs> well, you're about to have 10 to 20 bad ones. <laughs> See, this card has been reported stolen, and I have been ordered to destroy it. Stolen? Well, there must be some mistake. Cut. Cut. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, man, are you crazy? Dude, you can't just go cutting people's stuff up. What if I cut up your stuff? Huh? Like, uh -huh, like this right here. Uh-huh, cut, cut, cut. Sir, cut, how cut, dare you? Uh -huh, uh -huh, security. Uh -huh. Oh, security? Oh, 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 don't make me come back there. Don't back, hold back, up on you. Back, back, back. Hey, man, I don't care what you're saying, man. Back, back, Who do you think I am? Back, back, Who you let me handle this, all right? Excuse me, son. What's your name? Evan. <laughs> Evan? I hate Evans. They steal my women. Come here. Security. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Back up. Come on. Hey, hey, come on. Hey, I thought you were the guy. Get on, man. Get on. Come on, man. Lex was on the way to see his gal to prove he was more than a 30-day pound. When he left to get her gift, oh, the wings have changed its shape. <laughs> Tis the folly of Flex and Dwayne Roamed in the dungeon on Hallow Wayne Shut up, shut up, man The only reason I'm stuck in here not with Natalie Is because of you and your elfin temper For the last time That's an elf I'm Robin Hood And you're a thief I didn't steal a credit card, all right? There's obviously been some kind of mix-up. Oh, yeah, man. Prisons are filled with innocent men. Man, I'm innocent. Oh, man, yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> there a problem here? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a problem. I'm in jail. See, uh, I have a big date with my girlfriend, right? Today's our 30-day anniversary, and uh, there's been a terrible mistake. <laughs> I'm innocent. <laughs> Prisons are filled with innocent people. <laughs> That's what I said. I mean, don't I look familiar to you, huh? WYNX sports anchor. Wait, wait, wait. Flat out. Hey, hey, I don't go for that nasty talk. <laughs> Yo, Green Mile, I want my phone call. I know I get a phone call. Who are you calling? The rest of the village people? <laughs> uh, hey, hey, hey. I want my phone call, too. Following behind him is what got you in this mess in the first place. Think about that, Slim. Oh, uh, uh. Slim, huh? <laughs> You're too pretty to be in prison. <laughs> You've got delicate features, Robin Hood. <laughs> See, you get me. <laughs> you, uh, don't be careful, and you might turn Robin Hood into a merry man. <laughs> hey, baby. Flex, you're two hours late. Uh, you are not gonna believe what happened to me. <laughs> uh... I I'm in jail. Oh, let me guess. For a crime you didn't commit. Well, guess what, baby? I ain't waiting for you. But I just... But nothing. Go walk the plank, 30-day man. <laughs> I'm not a 30-day man. Anymore. <laughs> I know you have it, Akma. You were the last person that had it. I just want you to know that our report is stolen, and I hope you get arrested. Shame on you, Akma. Shame! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hello? I'm in jail. I was buying a gift for Natalie, and I got arrested. They think I stole a credit card. 
A credit card. I need you to post bail. Hey! I said one phone call, Bluebeard. Call Grandma! Oh. I'm in the best relationship I've been in for the past five years. It... <laughs> and I'm not gonna lose Natalie because of some stupid misunderstanding. Okay! Kim, Spencer, Russo, you made bail. Hey, hey, I, uh, I wrote that sexy garden note. You mind proofreading it for me? get to be free. Oh, I'm not free. I'm a prisoner of love. <laughs> when I get free, I'm gonna find a sharp toothbrush and shake you. Hi, I'm here to post bail for Daddy! Thank God you're here, Bree. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you out right now. Uh, hi, I'm Brianna Barnes. I'm here to post bail for Flex Washington. Barnes. Oh, I see your name right here. The credit card your father stole was yours? What? Someday. How did you get a credit card? Well, I filled out the application. You said to be resourceful. Brianna, why didn't you tell me? Well, you didn't say nothing about telling you. <laughs> Daddy, I just had to have that product purse. I'm a slave to fashion. <laughs> but hey, look, I sold some of the stuff to raise your bail money, see? Cashier's downstairs. Okay, don't worry. I'll have you and Dwayne out of here in 10 minutes. Make it five, because you're a dead girl walking. <laughs> Mr. Washington, you are free to go. All right, Daddy, let's go home. Daddy's going home, but you're going up the river, Pop-Tart. What? <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Uh, what's going on here, huh? Why are you arresting my child? Because, sir, she sold goods bought on credit without a... Uh... Retail license. That's right! Retail license. <laughs> you make a good team. <laughs> Be strong, baby. I'm gonna get you the best lawyer money can buy. No, Daddy, please, I will never do it again. I, I was just trying to find my own road to financial freedom. I don't wanna go to jail. I don't wanna go to jail. Daddy, I'm so sorry. What was that? Which part? Daddy, I said I'm sorry. Please help me. Brianna, credit cards can get you in a lot of trouble. But, Daddy, I was gonna pay off the balance at the simple minimum rate of $20 a month or at 2% of the balance or whichever is less. Brianna, you're gonna be paying for your little weekend shopping spree for the next 20 years. Credit card debt is not the road to financial freedom. You know what it is? No, Daddy. I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> it's a ticket to the bank. Uh-huh. The bank erupts it. Oh. Wow. Hey, oh, hey. Uh, uh, Officer Justice, you can let her go. It's midnight. I gotta get to Natalie's before I turn into a pumpkin and prove to her that I'm not a 30-day man. Well, I can't believe I have a record. How cool am I? Hey! <laughs> go on. I got this, dog. All right. I don't think she's learned her lesson. Get back in there, girl. Come on now. <laughs> Natalie, it's Flex. Natalie, I know you're in there, okay? I saw you watching me from the window. And I saw the hand gesture, too. Now, unless you're saying I'm number one, I'm offended. I'm sorry, little boy. I gave all my treats away to the other children. But really, I was in jail. See, here's my mugshot. You're incredible, Flex. What did you do, spend three hours in Kinko's doing that? Bye-bye. 
Did I hurt you? Nah, my. Then stick your finger back in. <laughs> Natalie, look. It's after midnight. It's day 31, not day 30, day 31. I mean, doesn't the fact that I'm here prove that I'm not running away from this relationship? What were you in for? Credit card mix up. See, I was getting you an anniversary present. You would get me a present? Yeah, because the one I made you. You made me something. I guess Dwayne was right. I guess Dwayne was wrong. I mean, I I'm sorry that I ruined your Halloween. Mm -hmm. Now remember, I just got out of jail. I haven't seen a woman for a while. <laughs> Can you believe Miss Beam gave me a C in home make? I mean, who needs boiling a bag of rice when you got all this ready-made cuteness? <laughs> Speaking of fast food, look what Arnez picked up at the drive-thru. I'll talk to you later, Valencia. Bye. Valencia, she's named after an orange. Oh, she looks fresh squeezed. <laughs> the spirit is okay. Arnez and I are just friends. Right. He can go out with any fruit that he wants to. <laughs> Thanks, but I think I might be moving on to vegetables. Hey, pumpkin. Oh, that's not mine. Ode to Brianna. Hair dark and lovely. Skin Neutrogena. I know in my heart, I need you like Aquafina. A glance of you is never enough. That Victoria's Secret body, man, it's for a tough sign me. Oh, girl, you got a secret admirer. Oh, I wonder who it could be. I don't know, but we know one thing. You watch a lot of commercials. <laughs> Sometimes it's not. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love we are Maybe you don't get so bad Maybe one on one uh, uh, yeah. Can't nobody break this bond Maybe one on one Let's just be Now we have a friend Maybe one on one 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 And Alec Iverson proved once again that he's the toughest little man on the court Nothing short of brilliant. <laughs> Holly? Ooh, let's dish. After the game, Ivy got a new heart tattoo. Does he have a new boo? Me thinks love is in the air. <laughs> love has nothing to do with sports. What if it's tennis, Flexi Doodle? <laughs> Each game starts love, love, just like you and me. <laughs> That's all for tonight's Flex Files. Flat app. Holly, Holly! Are we out yet? Thank you. Now then, please, someone take out the trash. She's stinking up my show. Oh, please, Flex. Your show was fairly pungent before I got here. That's why management brought me in. I'm the Sancho Panza to your Don Quixote. No, you're more like the donkey to my Don Quixote. <laughs> Thanks, Shiz. Ooh. Oh, it's a fax from Geraldine. Oh. Apparently, our producer took time out from vacationing on Liposuction Island to send us something. Yeah. Jerry's landed WYNX an exclusive with former NFL running back Eric Dickerson. <gasps> you know, the word is he's been offered a coaching position with a Division I school. Exactly, but he's being real tight-lipped about this one. And if I can break this story, it'll get picked up nationally. Hmm, what would the irritatingly effervescent Holly wear national? <gasps> I know, Daisy Dukes and Gucci boots. <laughs> That Baywatch reject comes all up in my space talking about what's Holly gonna wear national? How about a noose? <laughs> Flex, please. I know you're under a lot of stress, but in a couple hours, I'm going under the knife and donating a kidney to my father in a county hospital. Oh, but I'm sorry, please, continue with your drama. <laughs> I'm done. Dwayne, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you doing this for me. Nah, uh, don't worry about it, Pop, but we're square for the next couple Christmases. <laughs> All right. Anyways, any surgery comes with some risk. Dwayne, so, everything's gonna be fine. I'm not worried. Now, are we done? <laughs> um, I just have one small presentation. 
<laughs> Good evening. And if this syndicates, buenas noches. <laughs> you are watching the last will and testament of one Dwayne Odell Knox. I, being of sound mind and body, do bequeath. Uh, this is ridiculous, Dwayne. Everything is going to be all right. Now, back to me. Who do you like better, me or Holly? <laughs> so, I question the guys at school, and nothing. So I'm thinking your secret admirer must be Winky, the janitor. Or I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Miss Kaufman, the gym teacher. Whoever it is, they didn't include a picture, so we know they're ugly. And we all know Miss Kaufman is not cute. while I take care of the delivery guy. Hey, your secret admirer spells your name wrong. Bianna. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> idiot? <laughs> the name is Brianna, and I specifically asked for roses. How are some tired carnations gonna convince him that I too can have someone hot for me? No tip for you. Thanks for coming in, Eric. Let's get started. Now, this is just a little pre-interview, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to ambush my guests. That way, we're both prepared. Okay, let's get started. But before I forget, don't ask me anything about where I'm going to be coaching. I'm still working out the details of my deal. Oh, got it. Got it, got it. So since you retired from the NFL, you've been doing color commentary from the sidelines. And uh, has Michigan State offered you a coaching job yet? <laughs> and uh, how's your golf game? <laughs> He doesn't want to talk about boring things like his golf game. He wants to talk about fun stuff. <laughs> like my girlfriend Susan Watsonabi said that you dated Miss Michigan. How'd you like your slopes? Well, uh... I just back off, Holly. No one's interested in hearing Susan Watsonabi's gossip and, and, and Miss Michigan's slopes. Well, they were man-made. <laughs> so. They were. They were. Enough. Look, Holly, I have never heard such such blatant, mindless dribble. Who am I, Flex? In 1984, you rushed 2,105 yards. Somebody oil me. Look, I am trying to do a real sports show. The Flex Files, not Holly's Hooters. I'd watch that show. Thank you. I'm gonna let you two work this out. Just ask me the rest of the questions. <sighs> you see what I'm talking about, Holly? Huh? You see what you did? When are you going to learn that you being here is not an asset, it's a liability? It uh, looks like somebody's not keeping abreast of the S&P. <laughs> I've taken you from penny stock to blue chip without any exorbitant commission. This is our shtick, Flex. You do the sports, I'm the entertainment. The Flex Files is not entertainment. It's information that entertains. It's infotainment. <laughs> Flex, like it or not, you need me. No, the peroxide companies need you to stay in business. So, uh, like your ends, I'm gonna split. You'll swing me by the plastic surgery ward tomorrow so I can get some after pictures, right? Hey, man, come on, don't tell me you ain't even a little curious to see how that woman's tummy tuck turned out. They have a surgery for that? I just tuck my extra tummy into my belt. <laughs> so, what's your name? Dwayne. You're pulling my IV. My name's Dwayne, too. Huh. Man, I hate the hospitals. Man, they really creep me out. You know people die here? People are also born here. Yeah, but people also die here. People are also born here. You know what? We're not getting anywhere. <laughs> Besides, we're both Dwayne's, and nothing bad ever happens to Dwayne's. So what are you in for? Oh, I'm getting a kidney transplant. Get out! Man, I'm giving a kidney. How about that? Two Dwayne's in the same hospital, same room, one to give a kidney, one to get a kidney. What are the odds of that? Huh. huh. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey daddy. daddy. You just called my daddy daddy. No, you just called my daddy daddy. Daddy, daddy who, who is this? this? Don't call, call him daddy. daddy. Stop, stop doing that. that. No, you stop doing that. Daddy! <laughs> 
so they put you in the same room before the operation. Why is he calling you daddy, daddy? Boys, this is all very complicated. You two are half-brothers. Well, now that I see it, it sounds rather simple. But it's simple, it's sick. You even gave us the same name, man. What kind of George Foreman madness is this? I ain't sure the names were spelled differently. Duane and Dwayne. Daddy, you told me you were getting my kidney from a brother. Not my brother. Now it all makes sense. That's why you weren't there the day I got my blood test. That's why you disappeared when I was getting admitted. Listen, son. Z. Oh. The reason I didn't come clean about everything at first was because I thought it would be too much for you to handle all at once. So let me get this straight. If your new son didn't need your old son's kidney, you never would have come looking for me. Son, like I told you before, when I found out you were looking for me, I wanted to meet you. But then when this happened to Dwayne, I had to find you, Dwayne. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. I should have listened to Dwayne's mother. Oh, oh, so you didn't abandon his mother? Oh, let me guess, you guys got a, a white picket fence, a dog, and you live by Disneyland. Uh, uh, no, actually, uh, we have an iron fence with a cat, and we live in a little cul-de-sac by SeaWorld. <laughs> now, all this time, I thought you lived here in Baltimore. No, we just moved. And we're expecting a second child. That's why his mom's not here. Well, my mom would have been here, but, but she knew that you were going to be here. You with your perfect life and your perfect house near performing fish. Daddy, I'm kind of cold. Could you, could you hand me that blanket over there? Okay, son. <laughs> Dwayne? Yes. Dwayne? Yes. Not you, boy. <laughs> like dreadlock homes <laughs> because i enjoy solving mysteries in my spare time that and it's laundry day <laughs> anyway i'm on to you it took me a while but i've cracked the case of the mysterious secret admirer uh what you've cracked is your head <laughs> it's you you're your own secret admirer yes it was all in the first clue, the poem you spoke of neutrogena and dark and lovely two of your favorite beauty products I don't know what you were talking about. <laughs> oh, no. You mentioned Victoria's Secret, which is somewhere you've always wanted to shop, but your father won't let you. It's not true, I say. It's not true. <laughs> Explain the Ford reference. <laughs> what do you think I am, an amateur? I remembered in history class you said your favorite president was Gerald Ford. He was so clumsy and misunderstood. <laughs> The question is why, Brianna Barnes, why? I love him, I hate him, I love him, I hate him. Oh, I bit my tongue. <laughs> Look, I thought if I can fool Arnaz into believing that I had a secret admirer, it might convince him that I moved on too. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you and your Olsen twin videos. Hey. Hey. Well, I'm sure Dwayne's in surgery right now. Think I can call him on the cell phone? Daddy, can you go one day without talking to him? I'm not this day. Today, I need my little buddy. Well, I'm here. You can talk to me. I appreciate that, but this is adult stuff. You know, it's all too complicated. Oh, Snickers. <laughs> OK, Daddy, I'll leave you with your adult problems. <laughs> OK, it's like this. I don't want to share the flex files with Holly. Those are my files. I filed them myself. Ask me what's in them. Like, ask me what's in them. Daddy. She don't know. I Daddy. know it. Daddy, look. I'm a cheerleader. Do you think I enjoy sharing the spotlight with eight other girls? Even if I am the cutest, and I am. <laughs> look, you can't build a pyramid by yourself. I think I know what you're saying. Sometimes it takes a team to do something really exciting. That's exactly what I'm saying. Be willing to share the spotlight. But darn it, make sure you're the cutest. <laughs> hey, hey, listen up. 
Oh, I guess you can't because you're sleeping. <laughs> but, uh, I, I can't go through with this. I mean, I, I know you're a great kid and all, but, but this is just too much for me. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm gonna say goodbye. And I'm gonna take your pudding cup. <laughs> and, uh, slide it closer to you. Here you go. <laughs> oh, it's you. I'm just gonna get my things and get out of your life for good. And by things, I mean my kidneys. Please. I know I've disappointed you again. And I'm sorry again. I could have told you the truth earlier, but I just didn't want my second son to be punished for the way I mistreated my first. Yeah, Dad. You have mistreated me. I, mean, I don't need a kidney, but I've never felt more pain than I'm feeling right now. I, I've been lied to, deceived, and almost cut open. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind if you were a complete stranger, but you're my dad. But I'm also his dad. And all the things I did wrong for you, I tried to do right for him. I taught him how to ride a bike. I helped him with his homework. I talked to him about girls. <laughs> Did you ever uh, pop caps with a hammer? <laughs> or uh, burn ants with a magnifying glass? Ooh, ooh, did you ever have them use crotches so you can get a better parking space at the ballpark? <laughs> Just uh, some of the things I wanted to do with you. No, I never got a chance to do those things. And son, if you don't help him, I may never get that chance. Hey, yo, dad, the crutches thing sounds pretty fun. <laughs> you think we can do it? I don't know, Dwayne. Can we, Dwayne? I, well, I don't know. I, can my little brother come? <laughs> Thank you, son. Well, let me go get the doctor and get this show on the road. So, uh, let me make sure I got everything straight here, Eric. Uh, you can still run a 4840. You love working with young athletes, and I'm sorry I can't read my handwriting. What school did you say you'd be coaching at? Flex, I told you I can't talk about any coaching possibilities. Oh, come on, E. This is big news. We're talking about being one of only five black coaches at Division I schools. Sorry, Flex. I'm not talking. Nah, I can't break you, huh? You're a tough nut to crack. <laughs> How about something lighter? Holly? Yes, class? <laughs> Time for a little sh You're off sides, Mr. Dickerson. <laughs> Let's dish. My girlfriend, Susan Watanami, her aunt's cousin said that she saw you shopping at Saks buying fur coats. <gasps> True or false? True. I like to look good. Oh, I like to stay fly myself, player. <laughs> Keep going, Holly. We also heard you spent the weekend on Mackinac Island. Yeah. Getting your Mac on. <laughs> I was not there getting my Mac on. <laughs> so, you were there on business then? Hmm, what business would be on Mackinac Island? Mm. Ice fishing? <laughs> Me thinks not. <laughs> I even heard you were there with three very attractive ladies learning how to cross country ski. Susan Watanami says you have very powerful thighs. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> hmm. Fur coat, cross country skiing on Mackinac Island. What do these things have in common? Sounds to me like somebody's getting ready to move to Michigan. You're gonna coach the Spartans. Come on. Yeah, yeah. It's true. <laughs> Go, Eric. <laughs> Congratulations, Eric. <laughs> You heard it here first on the Flex Files. Flat app and... Holly Honda! <laughs> Sports Illustrated's gonna kill me. I'm supposed to give them an exclusive. Oh, don't worry about it. Tell them to give me a call. I'll give them a quote. <laughs> <laughs> See? What did I tell you, Flex? We're a great team. <sighs> yes, we are. But I am the quarterback of this team, and you are the kicker at best. <laughs> All right. I'll sit on the sidelines for now. But watch out, because when it comes time to win the big game, this kicker kicks butt. Yeah. Ow! Ow, leg cramp! Oh, I'm sorry, the kicker can't kick it? No. Holly, help her? Yeah. Come on. Oh, look who's here. 
Looks like your mystery guy struck again. My dearest Brianna, it is with a broken heart that I must end our relationship. Please do not take this as cliche, but it was I who was not right for you. It was I who didn't deserve you. It was I who It's just... over. <laughs> Lots of love, bye-bye. It just wasn't meant to be. Forget him, Brianna. If this guy was too scared to show his face, he's probably ugly anyway. <laughs> I gotta run. Come on now, Brianna. I thought you were done with the secret admirer stuff. But I didn't do this. From your other secret admirer. What? Who? Y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> oh, look, Daddy. I made Mommy's Christmas present. It's an ornament with pictures from all last year. Oh, what a clever idea. Yeah. Oh, look, that's you last Christmas when you met Mommy's boyfriend, Jaden, for the first time. Oh, look. He's got you in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's you when you found out you and Mommy were still married. Oh, and that's you when you saw Mommy came home alive from Africa. <laughs> oh, and that's you after Natalie dumped you. <laughs> Yeah, these are just pictures of me crying. I know mama gonna love it. <laughs> you know what? Who cares? Let me help you hang this on your fake tree. Fake, <laughs> fake, fake. It's <laughs> all Christmas is. Fake. Dwayne, who turned you into Mr. Scrooge? I thought you loved Christmas. Uh, you know what? I'm broke this year. It's been really slow down at the car lot. Man, Christmas is only fun if you got money. Having fun, Flex? <laughs> But money doesn't solve my problems. I mean, how fun is it to spend Christmas with my should-be ex-wife and her boyfriend, Crocodile Dumdee? Daddy, don't be hating. I'm excited to see Mommy. I haven't seen her in six whole months. Oh, she's here! She's here! Hi, baby. Hey, Mommy! Oh, you're finally here. I missed you so much, I couldn't sleep last night. Uh -oh. <laughs> so where's my present? OK, OK. I, I think I have it in here somewhere. Oh. There it is. <gasps> Merry Christmas, big sister to be. Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. You're pregnant. Yeah, you always pretty quick, Flex. <laughs> well, how far along are you? Cause, cause you're really fat. <laughs> Five months. <laughs> When's your due date? <laughs> Five months, mommy? We email each other every day. You tell me all about your ocean adventures off the coast of South Africa, about the mating habits of a humpback whale, yet nothing about your mating habits. <laughs> Honey, you know, your, your mom's been really stressed out, you know, constantly being hunted for the hair on her back. Right. <laughs> Flex, we didn't want to tell Brianna because everybody knows that a new baby is tough on the first child. And we thought it was important to tell Brianna about her little brother or sister in person. Yeah. Did you change your name to Nicole? <laughs> Look, sweetie, I, I want you to know you'll always be mommy's baby. Now come here and sit on mommy's lap. <laughs> See? Nothing's gonna change. Ow, ow, get up. You're crushing the baby. Ain't this something? Flex's wife is having a baby by another man. I don't know who to give the cigar to. Look, look, now it's time for me to give you your Christmas present. See, I did a little research and I discovered a loophole in the divorce law. Turns out we don't have to wait a whole year. <sighs> Poor Nicole. You'll see anything to keep me from embarrassing your handler. <laughs> It's true, a judge can grant us an early divorce due to uh, extenuating mm -hmm. circumstances. <laughs> and this is an extenuating circumstance. Mm. How do you like my work, Flex? I'm a brother man in the motherland. <laughs> <laughs> You're more like the loser in Skag Kizak. <laughs> okay, look, what do we have to do to make this divorce happen? Look, all we need to do is get a judge to file this paperwork. Then we'll be divorced and Jaden and I can be married before the baby is born. 
You could just mail me the final paperwork in Africa. Oh, no, no, no. After our last botched divorce? No, no. I'm going to find you a judge right now. Right. Think of it as my gift to you. Okay. Yeah, baby and a divorce. That's everything on my Christmas list. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> Look at your mom and Jaden. It's so nice when old people fall in love. I could vomit. How you doing, sweetie? Good, mommy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, why don't we wrap the rest of these gifts in your room? Uh-uh. I'll take the scissors. Hey, baby. Hey. Merry Christmas, Nicole. I've got your divorce papers processed and ready to go. I just need your paw print right here on the dotted line. Wait, so that's it? You guys are divorced? As soon as the ink dries. <laughs> Excuse me. Baltimore, I'm free! <laughs> Baby, you know what this means? We can get married right away. Why don't you let me call Father a day at the Little Lies Kakuza Church? Mm -hmm. We get married as soon as we step off the plane, all right? Uh, 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 hold on now. Uh, I'm happy for you, bro, but uh, if you call in Africa, you better dial 101032, use your own phone. Well, Flex, it's, uh, it's finally done. Yeah, yes, it is. Are you happy? Well, thank you very much. I yes, yes, I am. Baby, bad news. Father a day is booked solid till May. That's not till after the baby is born. Maybe I know, but there are other ministers in Africa. Well, no, they're, they're probably booked too. I mean, everybody wants to be married by the rainy season before all the churches wash away. <laughs> Flex, this is all your fault. My fault? Baby, calm down. It's just the hormones talking. Shut up! <laughs> this is your fault. You got me pregnant when I was 17, and, and then we had to get married, and then you ran off to play basketball, and, and then we had to get a divorce, and. But we weren't really divorced, and now I'm pregnant with another man's baby, and now it's all your fault! Nicole, look, I, I want you to get married. I want you to get married from the depths of my soul to the, to the gas bubbling in my stomach. If it was up to me, I'd get a minister and have you get married in my house tonight. <laughs> really? Did, did, you, did you hear that, Jaden? Yeah, some crazy idea about us getting married in your ex-husband's apartment. Say what? Which I love. <laughs> You're getting married here? Daddy? Uh, baby, you know, the churches, they, they get washed away during the rainy season. Flex, you're the best ex-husband a girl could ever have. Uh, Come here. <laughs> so nice when old people get married. Shut up! <laughs> What's that, baby? Shut up, mama, you getting married! All right, kids. Now, Nicole has hired me to plan her wedding, so we're gonna have to work together. Now, Spirit, you're gonna help me find a dress. Uh, Arnez Entertainment. Oh, Brianna, you're gonna make those little almond wedding favors. <laughs> now, I've got 20 yards of lace and a bucket of candied almonds by my bedside. <laughs> You'll understand when you go to college. I'll go get them. <laughs> so, Brianna, there's a lot going on. Got a wedding and a baby. Looking forward to be a big sister. Yeah, I'm thrilled. Can't you see the joy plastered all over my face? Oh, no, wait. First, you must scrape away the pain. <laughs> Come on, Brianna. It's great to be the oldest. You get to tease him about being adopted. Ray Ray begs me every day to take him to Cleveland to meet his real parents. Maybe he's trying to get away from you. <laughs> Come on, Arnaz. It's the holidays. Let's just count our blessings. Or we can count the number of department store Santas your mom is bringing home. <laughs> You step over the line. The unemployment line your daddy's standing in. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> All right, Lace and Almond Spirit, come with me. We are going to my favorite dress shop. You'll understand when you pledge in grad school. Come on. <laughs> Brianna, are you all right? This isn't about us, is it? My drama isn't always about you, Arnez. This is about the Jerry Springer circus going on across the hall with my mom and the impregnator. Brianna, I'm surprised at you. I always thought of you as a Chelsea Clinton of broken homes. Happy, well-adjusted, and blind to your parents' shortcomings. All I know is my family would have been a lot better if my parents had never gotten a divorce. How do you know that? Because we would have been a real family. Brothers and sisters with the same parents, and a mother who's not traipsing around Africa with her boyfriend. 
And now the baby's gonna get everything I didn't have. Well, there's no way that baby's gonna be as cute as you. Thank you, Arnie. You're welcome. Um, I was thanking you for the support, not the kiss. <laughs> My bad. Apology kiss? What? <clears throat> get out of here. <sighs> what do you want for Christmas, Brianna? My real family. Turn it back into a coffee table. Okay, this has to be a bad dream. I fell asleep at Dwayne's and I woke up in the Salvation Army showroom. <laughs> Actually, they found most of this stuff behind the Salvation Army. Who are you? I'm Angela. Your wish came true. This is what your life would be like if your parents stayed together. Well, well, what are the rest of these regrets? <laughs> the tall one over there is Flex Jr. That's Michael and Jordan. Pookie. There's Tyrone. He kind of got a thing for fire. <laughs> Nicoletta. And that's Baby. Oh, but they're all so cute. Who are you talking to? Angela. Angela? Nicole, do we have an Angela? Oh, no. Uh -huh. Daddy, what? They can't see me. Only you can see me. Oh, look how happy they are. My well, mommy and daddy are together. And I have brothers and sisters. And <laughs> this house is filled with love. <laughs> and some strange smells. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Mr. Barnes, Mrs. Barnes. Hi, Spirit. Spirit. The rest of y'all. <laughs> hey, Bree, I brought you a present. It's food. Hide it so the others don't get at it. To hide food from my family. We all love each other. We share everything. Come on, everyone. I have food. Get, get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, fight him, Pokey. Get you some. Hey. Well, I gotta get back to work. Wait on Christmas Day? Yep, you know they'll be wine next. They can't do without the flex, man. Mr. Barnes. Merry Christmas, Barnett. Get you some ham. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hey, Did you notice the mistletoe? I don't need berries on a stick to give my boo a kiss. Oh, I get it. He still got a thing for me. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something you forgot to tell me? <laughs> you don't have time for love. You're too busy taking care of all these kids. And without you to hang out with, Spirit became Marnez's closest friend. With benefits. Let's go, baby, and get some hot cocoa. My treat. Can Brianna come, Marnez? Yeah. Yeah. But don't you be watching. Oh, wait, 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 Brianna. I need you to take your father his lunch. He forgot his Miracle Whip sandwich again. Oh, no, wait, wait, no, wait, wait. This is Flex Barnes saying Merry Christmas to all and to all a flat app. Ho, ho, ho. Well, at least my daddy's still the flat app man. Hey, Flex Man, get back to work. These floors don't mop themselves. Wait, my daddy's a janitor? Actually, he just got a promotion. He's the assistant to the assistant janitor. Hey, Daddy. Hey, baby. Um, I brought you lunch. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll eat it later. Ooh, and saltines. Christmas blessings. Daddy, um, do you ever think you'll get a chance to become, like, a sports reporter or something? 
Without a college education? Are you kidding? Flex, there's a toilet overflowing. Okay, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Well, sweetie, uh, thanks for the lunch. All right, little ghost of Christmas ghetto, what'd you do to my daddy? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Since your mom and dad never got divorced and kept having kids, your dad never had time for basketball or college, so he never got the chance to play in the NBA and become a sportscaster. But that was his dream. We're not living his dream, Brianna. We're living yours. Come on, quit playing with the stove! Michael, Jordan, stop playing ball in the house! What? I'm gonna give you a timeout. Can I spank him? Let me spank him. I got some switches ready just in case. No! Okay, Brianna, when you threw a fold in, I need you to give the baby a bath, uh, mop the floor, clean the bathroom, and, oh, scrape the rust off the water heaters. <laughs> oh, and uh, then get Christmas dinner started. She gave me a computer. Ooh. What do we have here? Government turkey. <laughs> ah, sure, it's boneless and comes in a can, and children under four aren't supposed to eat it, but it's meat. <laughs> Michael, no, 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 Jordan. Turn on the TV for Mama. Ooh, whales, oh, such a majestic mammal. Did you know that a, a blue whale's blood vessels are big enough for you and me to swim in? Really, Mom? Mm -hmm. Oh, and their tongues are as big as an elephant. My mom is so smart. I feel like she's wasting her brain here. She should be doing more than this. Oh, she does. She cleans crabs during the summer. It's not what you thought it would be, is it? Choking them in front of the TV. Choke them in the other room. I will crush you. Hey, everybody. Look who I found outside. Hey, got children. Peace and greetings, y'all. People stayed left in my house. I guess he still can't fit down your space heater. Dwayne's rich? So, uh, Dwayne, how's your business? Uh, man, we just opened another Big Dwayne's Luxury Cars in Paris. Man, each car comes with a carton of cigarettes and two crepes. <laughs> <laughs> and since I've been blessed, a little something for you. Dwayne, look, I I'm doing fine. I don't, I don't need your money. Wait a minute. Now. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not be too hasty. <laughs> Dwayne is just being generous. Take the money. I need a new robe. Well, man, I thought we agreed that Christmas was the one day that we wouldn't argue. Can I just have one day of peace? Peace? Okay, I'll give you peace. How about a piece of my shoe in your behind? Oh, oh see, now just... I, I lifted that restraining order against you because of the kids. Look, I see my toes. Make them stop, Angela. Make them happy again. Look, I cannot take I'm them. Telling you, I'm not going to deal with this. I, I can't you. make them happy, Brianna. But why not? Aren't you like an angel or something? I'm not an angel. I'm your guide. And can't you see? Their lives and your life are exactly the way they should be. Woman, I said I had enough of your back talk. I said I paid the light bill. I knew you didn't pay the light bill. I have to go, but don't worry. I'll see you again in four months, sis. Wait, what do you mean, sis? Nini Kupenda. Nini Kupenda? What does that mean? Wait, Angela. Angela! 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 Oh, there you are, oh, Brianna. You're not dressed. Baby. Baby, why aren't you dressed? The wedding's about to start any minute. Mommy, it's you. Yeah. And you're not wearing your funky house coat. <laughs> On my wedding day? I hope not. <laughs> well, baby, why aren't you dressed? Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't want mommy to get married. Baby, I won't get married if you don't want me to get married. No, I... no, mommy. I want you to get married. I want you to be happy. You look beautiful. <laughs> Dwayne picked out a great dress for you. I know, I can't believe he took me to baby mama bridal shop. <laughs> look, baby, um, I'm sorry if I haven't set a good example for you. <laughs> Believe me, I did not do this on purpose. They don't have the patch in Skakuza. <laughs> Look, Mom, everything is perfect, just the way it should be. You and Daddy had your time together, and now it's time for you and Jaden. And plus, I'm really excited about the baby. Oh, God. 
<laughs> that is so important to me. Baby, I just want you to know that no one, and I mean no one, can replace you in my life. So if you ever, ever want to come back to me, baby, I am always here for you. Ooh, the baby just kicked. Oh, she did? Let me feel. She? <laughs> we don't know if it's a girl. I do. You should name her Angela. Angela. I like that. Mommy, what does Nini Kupenda mean? Oh, that's Swahili. It means I love you. Cool. I love you too. And who giveth this woman away? We, we do. do. Christmas. Brianna, those cookies look really good. Can I have one? Ah. Ah. These cookies are for Arnez, my Valentine, because I love him. If anybody loved you, they would make you some cookies. If I was getting some loving, I wouldn't need cookies. I hate Valentine's Day. Why hasn't Cupid ever shot me with his arrow? Does it have to be an arrow? Self-loathing attitudes like yours, Lisa, is why I love Valentine's Day. All those lonely, desperate women looking for the man of their dreams. And when he doesn't show up, what do they do with all their love? They deposit it in the cash machine. <laughs> no cash? How could you be so cold and insensitive, man? Valentine's Day is the day to celebrate. It's a time for love and giving. Don't you agree, Brianna? You can't have a cookie either. <laughs> Good news, everybody. My plan to solve my money problems forever is in motion. Congratulations. Who's a rich old man and what's he dying of? I said good news, not my dream come true. <laughs> anyway, you know how I've been saying I want to start my own business? Well, I've decided to become a matchmaker. I mean, who knows as much about dating as I do? Heidi Fleiss doesn't know as much about dating as you do. <laughs> Anyway, all those dating agencies and websites out there make a ton of money. I mean, why shouldn't I be the one to exploit all those lonely, desperate losers? You are heartless, Sarah. You disgust me. I'll give you a discount. I'm in. <laughs> Happy day before Valentine's Day, Valentine. Oh, baby, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Almost as beautiful as you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. They're perfect. They're exactly what I need. Uh, well, these are for Brianna. You can get your own on the corner. Just look for a guy in a black van with a Mercedes grill. No, not the roses. I'm talking about you and Brianna. I just finished telling these guys how I started my own matchmaking business. Well, where I come from, they call it pimping. <laughs> Hello, spotlight on Sarah. This is important. This is my chance to be better than all of you. <laughs> now, tomorrow night I'm having my kickoff party at the blog on Valentine's Day. And with you two there as a testament to my matchmaking skills. Well, hold on. Yeah. Brianna and I were a couple before we even met you. Yeah, but the singles who will be signing up for my service won't know that. The perfect couple is the best endorsement. So you want them to lie and say they met through you? Mm -hmm. No, I just want them to tell people how happy they are and not tell them they didn't meet through me. <laughs> so lie. No, just not tell the whole truth. Yeah, lie. <laughs> okay, lie. 
why. That's the first rule of business. I thought the first rule of business is the customer's always right. <laughs> and that's a lie. I don't know. Do you really think we're, we're the perfect couple? Of course. Oh, heck. What's a little white lie for our little white friend? Oh, this is great. Now, all I need you guys to do is to fill out this compatibility questionnaire for Sarah's soulmates, and then bring it with you tomorrow night to the kickoff party. Likes and dislikes? <laughs> well, that's easy. I like them naked, and I dislike them talking. <laughs> hey, why did Ernest and I take one, too? What? We don't need to take a test. I watched Save the Last Dance 175 times with you. That's not being tested. I don't know what is. No, baby, cause look, come on, it'll be fun. Besides, we already know we're the perfect couple. Oh, oh my God! We are complete opposites. Since when do you prefer mountains over the ocean? Since I found out sharks don't attack on land. Well, do you know what does happen on land? Um. Brianna, just a stupid quiz that Sarah probably got from some goofy women's magazine. Right, Sarah? Actually, the questions were compiled from several different studies based on satisfaction and personal relationships. Who asked you? <laughs> Besides, I always suck at tests. Huh, that's a shocker. <laughs> well, I've always said opposites attract. <laughs> That's just something desperate people say when they've dropped their standards as low as they can go. And that's when I swoop in. Will there be girls with low self-esteem in your mixer? Of course. Great competition. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I have nothing in common with my boyfriend. And I have nothing in common with you. See? Now we have something in common. <laughs> you guys went to bed, Brianna made me retake the stupid tests. I did even worse. My re-retest is at noon. But I'm passing this one. <laughs> well, Brianna likes the ocean. Brianna likes brownies. Brianna hates coffee. Dude, Brianna loves coffee. Damn. Hand me that Sharpie. Heart-shaped pancakes. It's Valentine's Day. Why don't you just rub my face in it? Hey, I'm just trying to cheer Brianna up. They're her favorites. Mm. Your shoulder says waffles. Hmm? The other one. <laughs> hey, Brianna. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, pancakes. Well, I guess I can eat those. Oh, no, no, no. I make pancakes for everybody else. For you, I'm making waffles. Because they're your favorite. So, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Ah, so we can put all this silly quiz stuff behind us. Oh, we sure can. This afternoon, after we get a perfect score on our re-retest. Right, the re-retest. <laughs> I can't wait, wait. <laughs> oh, good. My perfect couple is perfect again. Now, listen, lovebirds. I just want you guys to speak from your hearts tonight. So here, I wrote you a speech. <laughs> Feel free to say what you want, just as long as you stick to what's on the page. Toodles! <laughs> Uh, thank you, Kendra. You, you can purchase our CD at the counter, along with some very tasty Dale blueberry muffins. Hey, Benjamin. Uh, Thanks again for letting me use the blog. The decorations look great, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, and you know what I'd like to see hanging next to those adorable red hearts? My dead body. I hate Valentine's Day. I couldn't agree more. You know, Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. 
In fact, it means so much to me, I call it loveless. Mary Loveless, girl. Oh, and I don't skimp when it comes to dental floss. No, the cheap kind of shreds it to my teeth and makes my gums bleed. <laughs> you having a good Valentine's Day? Not really. Huh, that surprises me. What could a beautiful girl like you have to be sad about? You don't want to hear about it. Well, I'm not leaving until you feel better. <laughs> That's right. Let it out. Let me in. Oh, you got me the soundtracks to Cats. Oh, the Phantom of the Opera. Oh, and Evita. See, you do know me. Of course I do. That's why we got a perfect score on our compatibility re-retest. Oh, what's our favorite month? July! Can you believe this turnout? This could make me rich. I am finally becoming that successful independent woman that I've always dreamed of being. Unless I need a doctor. <laughs> oh, baby, quick, open your gift. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Sarah, and I'd like to welcome you to Sarah's Soulmates. As you can oh see, my girl, God. This is the same one that Lenny Kravitz is wearing in his album cover. Oh, I know. Well, except yeah, he could wear soulmate. his in the shower. The guy in the van said this one might leave a green stain. <laughs> Here, try it on. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, no, 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 I want to see it on you. And if you don't meet your soulmate tonight, I guarantee you, for a mere $29.95 a month, I will personally help you find them. And if you pay cash, I guarantee they'll be American. <laughs> but now, I'd like to bring up a couple who can attest to the happiness that they found through Sarah's Soulmates. Please welcome to the stage, Brianna and Arnez. You cheated! Uh, but I... No! No buts! You cheated because you know we're not the perfect couple. We don't belong together. The writing's on the arm. What is going on with you two? You are messing with my future. Do you think I want to live with you people forever? Look, I'm sorry, Sarah. I guess Arnez and I aren't the together forever, no matter the weather couple after all. Look. I never wanted to take this stupid quiz in the first place. Shh. I've been trying all day to please you and nothing is working. I only cheated to get you off my back. Oh, really? Okay. I'm off your back. Wait, wait! <laughs> Perfect couple. Please welcome to the stage, Brianna and Arnez. Yo, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yo, we just wanted to come up here and say a few words. You know, share our thoughts about Brianna and Arnez's love. <coughs> You're a damn dumbass. <coughs> oh, I mean, about our love. Our love. <laughs> yeah, we're in love. The kind of love where you can't keep your hands off each other. You know, uh, being in a relationship is a wonderful thing, but it isn't always easy, you know, because no two people are alike and nobody's perfect. But when you love each other as much as we do, and I really, really love this man. Oh my God, it feels so good to say that out loud. <laughs> Excuse me, Brianna and Arnez. When you met through all my dedicated work, <laughs> did you know right away that you would be soulmates? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> um, you don't meet someone like Arnez and not know what a wonderful guy he is. <laughs> Um, excuse me, Brianna. <laughs> Cute name, by the way. 
You say how wonderful Arnez is, but how much do you really know each other? I mean, you seem so different. Yeah. You guys must fight a lot. You seem cool, Arnez, but you, Brianna, you seem stubborn. Well, you know, sure, sometimes we fight. Damn, girl, you strong. But, you know, luckily, we have very understanding and good-looking roommates. <laughs> and uh, they remind us that the love we have is the kind of love everybody's looking for. <laughs> And they also say not to throw it away over something as stupid as a test. <clears throat> Testy moment. Right, Ernest? Kiss me. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Dreams do come true. <laughs> Downs. Matter of fact, fists are sweater. <laughs> My film career is in the toilet. I hide in garbage to take pictures of B-list celebrities just so I can afford the privilege of sharing a room with two other dudes. Wow. You really had it tough. I know. Hold me. Sorry, you have a lot of baggage and I prefer to travel light. Good luck to you, though, and you look really nice in that sweater. Girl, do you have to sit so close to me? Doing this for Sarah? For her sake, we still have to pretend we're Brianna and Arnett. <laughs> Sell it. Put your hand on my thigh. Oh my God, are you grinding my leg? No. Unless you like it. Please, please, please. Hey, you guys. Tonight was a huge success. <laughs> You're the best roommates ever. Oh, Trust me. It was our pleasure. You owe me. And after I make my fortune, I may even give you my forwarding address. Has anybody seen Brianna and Arnez? Trick question. We're right here. <laughs> yes, me. <clears throat> Where have you been? I've been worried. Just went for a walk. Well, are we okay? Yeah, this has just been a weird Valentine's Day. I know, baby. Look, I'm sorry I freaked out about that test. I just got so caught up in the whole idea of us being the perfect couple. Yeah, well, you need to give that up, because I'm far from perfect. Except for my abs. <laughs> Wait, Snickers? That's not my favorite candy bar. Oh, that's for me. I'm going to the store later. <laughs> Man, you are so cute. Look, I don't know what got into me. I think that whole opposites thing just threw me. I mean, my parents are opposites, and look how that turned out. But the good thing is, we're not them. Yeah, but we have been fighting a lot. I know, but we make up. Yeah, but it seems like we're always making up. Mm, speaking of which, we still have 10 minutes left of Valentine's Day. So what do you want to do? I'm pretty beat. I, mean, I got up at 6 o'clock this morning to make you pancakes. I mean, waffles. <laughs> um, I got a class early tomorrow morning. I think I'm just gonna crash. Oh. Okay.
Good night. I took off the second you went to clean the bathroom. Where did they go? Who said not to tell you? Even d -Mac? Okay, he's the one who said not to tell you. I hate Valentine's Day. Oh, me too. Uh, would, would you like... A, a cup of coffee? We have a lot of cleaning up to do, and we could be here all night long. I love some. Oh, cool. Actually, it's kind of hot. I'll say. I'm talking about the coffee. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Here. Oh. Should've seen your old man out there, boy. I was shaking and baking, giving and going, showing and both. <laughs> okay, well, to me, it looks like he was crashing and burning. <laughs> Come on, hit me with the rock. Oh, all right. Oh! Oh, baby, you all right? I don't know. How does it look? Oh, no, I knocked out your tooth. Where is it? <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> That's not even funny. I was getting my story ready for your school counselor about how you fell. Come on, Daddy. It's Halloween. I'm just having a little fun. Hey, you've been having Halloween fun with me all week. Now stop busting my chops and go bust some suds. All right, all right. No more pranks. Oh, dang, there's a fork in the garbage disposal. Ah! Oh, she got me to hook my baby and man with her hand. Oh, no. that when you got a perfect specimen right under your nose. Check it out. We're hitting the stair faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe he would move into my building. Relax, man. We're not even sure that it's him. What's going on, Daddy? Nothing, Puddin'. This is all about Elliot Templeton. Elliot Templeton? The basketball star? Gather around, children. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> now, see, Elliot and Fletch are longtime rivals. Drafted in the NBA the same year, Elliot goes on to become a multi-millionaire and the pitch man for Count Chocula. Yeah. <laughs> now, Flex blows out his knee in the second season and ends up living the rest of his life as just... Well, your daddy, that's, that's it. <laughs> Look, Dwayne, he is always trying to steal my life. He's like a, a hoochie in the VIP section getting buzzed off my champagne. <laughs> Next time I see him, I'm gonna rip his eyes out, I'm gonna pull his legs off, and I'm gonna kick him in the butt with his own foot! <laughs> Elliot Templeton. Oh, he ain't paying no bills for me. He ain't doing nothing for me. Elliot, my dog. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said they hated each other. Men don't hate his face. <laughs> oh, man, it's good to see you. How long has it been? Too long, man. When I heard that you lived in this building, I figured if it's good enough for Flex Washington, it's almost good enough for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, you know, I heard San Antonio traded you to the Wizards. Mm. Apparently, the Spurs wanted to win. That's just what I heard. 
<laughs> Ellie, it was... Did you see Jordan today? Oh, yeah, yeah, in practice. You know, I'm the only one that can stick him. You know. <laughs> Did he sweat on you? Can, can you lay a little of that on me? <laughs> I see the little guy is still on the short yellow bus. <laughs> but look here. If you guys want to meet the man, why don't you come to my Halloween party tomorrow night? Oh! Daddy, I have got to go to that party. Oh, no, 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 no. I am sure there are no kids allowed. Oh, they can come. Okay, my kid's not allowed. <laughs> but, Daddy, please. Look, sweetie, how many times do I have to tell you I don't party with my daughter? That only happens with people who live in trailer parks or carnival folk. <laughs> Girl, you know I love some peanuts. <laughs> Happy Halloween, sucker. <laughs> you better hope I don't marry your father because you're going straight to boarding school in the Alps. Somebody better tell Billy Jane to beat it because the king of pop is off the wall. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Dripping on the carpet. The <laughs> curl activator helps with my moves. See, it's moonwalking juice. Okay, well, please put some cones out because somebody's gonna slip and fall. <laughs> so, Michael, baby, uh, who's throwing this party? Oh, just some guy I hate. That is just why I'm taking you there to show Ooh. you off. Oh. Well, I guess I better go push everything up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this party's the talk of the town. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. Now that everything's all pushed up and uh, this afro is starting to itch. <laughs> Trick or treat! Oh, look, it's Cisco in the Black Blossom. <laughs> Too late to invite us to the party and be a cool dad. Oh, yes, it is. Peace out, losers. <laughs> Flex. I just met all three Bills. Bill Gates, Bill Clinton, and Bill Bellamy. <laughs> this party is off the easy. Yeah, but is Bill Cosby here? Huh? But I guess it's not for Jeezy. I gotta go back to the punch bowl. I think I dropped my Afro pick in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's bad. <laughs> or is he bad? Man, who's bad? I can't. So where'd you get your costume? Celebrity costumes off the internet, straight from Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> where'd you get yours from? <laughs> from Michael. Here, baby. Thank you, baby. Wow. Elliot, I'd like you to meet the soul sister who brings me love and peace. Tanya! <laughs> You two know each other? Oh, we, uh, sort of dated. <laughs> oh, you Tanya type. You are looking good, girl. I haven't seen you since that weekend in Madrid. <laughs> Olay Flex. <laughs> Olay Flex, huh? You could have told me. You told me the guy throwing the party was some guy you hated. You never said it was Elliot. You have told me if you knew? No. <laughs> Listen, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Okay, I wonder what that was all about. She probably told him she dated Elliot, too. <laughs> hey, man. That's my jacket. <laughs> hey. Flex, I, I mean, sir, how you doing? <laughs> All right, 
right, where is Brianna? Uh, uh, Brianna who? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Hello. Hey, sweetie, what you doing? Uh, uh you chilling? Watching MTV? Oh, really? Uh, what's all that noise? It's, um... It's bad connection. I can't hear what you're saying. I'm, I'm losing you. You found me. This is not fair. They're over there having the greatest time of their life, and I'm stuck over here with two nobodies. <laughs> no offense, y'all know I love y'all. Check it out. The Phantom and the French made in the bedroom. Oh, let me see. Oh, this looks like it's about to get NC-17. We shouldn't be looking at this. Oh, yes, we should. I'll get the chairs. I'll pop the mm -hmm. Whoa. <gasps> What's wrong? What did we miss? The Phantom just murdered the French maid. Why are you just trying to scare us? <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> Flex, man, that Elliot sure knows how to throw a party. Look at this. Salmon mousse, moet, and chandon. <laughs> Pastry stuff with things I can't even pronounce. Spin notch. <laughs> oh, well, if you like Elliot so much, maybe you should be his best friend. Nah, I can never get a guy like that. <laughs> Look, Dwayne, this guy is always trying to steal a piece of my life. Everything I've ever had, he's always won. Every game I won, it was my thing to throw my jersey into the crowd. What does he do? He throws his sneakers into the crowd. I tried that, and the old lady had to get 62 stitches to close up her lip. Damn, Flex. Never seen you this jealous. And I'm not jealous, okay? I'm too cool for that. Hey, baby. Where have you been, huh, with Elliot? I was in the bathroom. In his bathroom? Don't you think that's a little bit intimate? You know what? I don't like you like this. I think I'm gonna go over there and talk to that mime. I'm sure he's got a better conversation. <laughs> hey, man, don't you think you're a little rough on Tanya? Oh, you mean Elliot's Tanya? Beneath that itchy, unkempt afro lies the heart of a beautiful young woman who just needs a little love. <laughs> you're right, man. I need to relax. Yeah, hey, come on, man. Just breathe. Hey, thanks, man, for being my good friend, dog. Uh... Oh, come on now. You can always count on me. You know, I'd never leave your side. Hey, Dwayne. A friend of mine wants to buy a used station wagon for his housekeeper. Gotta go. <laughs> you done well for yourself, Flex. Great girlfriend, great career. I hate to say it, but I want to be just like you when I hang up my sneaks. Well, you know, it's a long, hard road. Before I got this gig, I had to pay my dues. I had to do the dirty work. <laughs> well, you know, I'm retiring after this season. Oh, the old knee is going out. You know how that is. But I got a little scoop for you. I'm all in, bro. I just spoke to my agent. He set up an interview for me to be the next lead sports anchor at WYNX. <laughs> my WYNX. Blah, dab, dab, did a. been a murder, the phantom murder over there. Just killed the French maid in the bedroom. Brianna, please, look, I don't have any time for your pranks. Go home. No, but Daddy, I'm telling the truth. Spirit on that, tell him what he saw. I saw Brianna get very scared. Uh-huh, which made us very scared. <laughs> Go, now. But Dad, it's not a prank. You gotta believe me, he's a killer. <laughs> the only thing he's killing is the electric slide. <laughs> Jackson would believe it. <laughs> Hold up, man. Who's gonna move this time with little Bo Peep? Oh, Peep the Cleveland Farm Girl. <laughs> oh, God, he's leading her to the bedroom. Don't go in there, girl. You in danger. <laughs> she went in there. She She's in danger. danger.
the one thing he can't take from me. I'm the king of pop tonight. We could do like my grandma does and drink till we have no memory of it. <laughs> Get your hands off her, you animal! Shh. I think it hurts you. What makes you say that? Because he's pointing at us and it's like he's saying, I'm going to kiss you kids. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> something he can't beat me at. I'm a better Michael Jackson. Oh. Hey, what are you talking about? Elliot and I are done. That was two years ago. We're over. Finito. This ain't about you. Oh. <laughs> OK, he's headed to our side of the building. Oh, my god. Unless he's going to do laundry, we're in trouble. We're going to die. I should have been the one with the NBA career. I, I should have been the one rubbing elbows with the rich and famous. I should be the one kicking it with Count Chocula. <laughs> this is about me and how I never realized my dreams. What are you talking about? It's just that whenever I see him, he reminds me of what I could have been. What you could have been. Look at what you are. Flex, I know you and I know Elliot. He's stuck up, he's materialistic, he's insecure, and quite frankly, he's boring. He's got nothing on the flat app, man. I guess I pretty much made a fool of myself, huh? Yeah, pretty much. But that's all a part of your charm, and I think you're sweet. Mm -hmm. Keep that up, and I won't stop till you get enough. Now open the door. He's behind the door. It's always like this in the movies. Roll check. I don't see feet. I said we get out of here while we got the chance. <laughs> That's the fan of guy that Brianna was talking about. Hold on, baby. Daddy's coming. I saw you kids staring at me. We want to find on you. We ain't never seen you before a day in our lives. Yeah, as a matter of fact, never seen anything. We're all blind. Who said that? We both are blind. You better keep your mouth shut. Get away from them. Get away from them. two women. I saw my whole 14 years flash before my eyes. You are a good daddy. What are you talking about? I never killed anybody. Oh, yeah, then what did you come up here for, huh? Let's see who's behind this mask. Ooh! <laughs> a murderer with bad skin. Boy, you need to catch <laughs> Look like you need some backup. So I'm backing up. Elliot, help me. <laughs> Stewart! Flex, why are you manhandling my accountant? Because your accountant murdered a little old peep and a French maid. The French maid is my wife. She had a little too much to drink, so I put her in a cab and sent her home. Oh, yeah? Well, where's little old peep, huh? Where's little old peep? Where's little old peep? <laughs> Stuart, you weren't fooling around with Delilah again, were you? My wife was gone, the bedroom was open. Do the math. <laughs> oh. 
sorry, man. Sorry, it's a little rough on you. But that's just how I handle my business. That's good. Let's talk. Hey, everybody's welcome to come back to the party. Elton John is going to do a duet with whoever's willing. Oh, I know all the words that don't go breaking my heart. Dance on the kinky knee part. <laughs> Guess I'll be seeing you around, Flex. Hey, you know, I want to apologize for my behavior. I was tripping, you know? Yeah, you were. But you've always been emotional. Well, that's what made me the ball player with a lot of heart, you know? But that's in the past. <laughs> Let's just bury the hatchet, dog. But, uh, I am glad that you moved into my building. And I'm also glad that you're not trying to steal my life, you know? Oh, sweet, naive flex. I am trying to steal your job. And your life. Hey, Bree Bree! Wait up for your Uncle Elliot! But I that did I Dad, you should have come back. Uncle Elliot's party was off the chain. Dad? Mama, there's something I have to tell you, Brianna. I'm not like other dads. I know. That's what makes you so cool. You don't understand. See, I... Oh, oh, oh. Daddy, are you okay? Daddy, you're scaring me. Brianna! You guys are go. Go away! <laughs> Happy Halloween.